you know how people say sometimes your family can be worse than your enemies? Well, in this case, it's it's very true. Jimmy is a true disgrace to Jay. And what makes it worse, that's his family, that's his blood. And that's his twin brother. And he always finds a way to screw over Jay. Jimmy needs to be dealt with. He needs to be taken care of, if you know what I mean. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. We got to talk about how Monday Night Raw ended, man. Man, this was very interesting how things played out. So we knew going in into the show that uh, Cody and Jay were going to be defending their tag team championships against uh, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. And... The things that they were planning, like the seeds they were planting, they were planting seeds that maybe Sami Zayn would interfere potentially in the match because he has some type of feelings about Jay Uso and him being the reason that Kevin Owens is no longer on the show and the fact that they don't even have the tag titles anymore, you know, and now that Jay has the titles with Cody. So they were teasing that maybe Sami would be the the particular individual that may turn on Jey Uso and cost them the match but that ultimately didn't happen he actually came out there to help them in the numbers game but it was too much during the match towards the end after of course all the shenanigans Dominic getting involved um, while the referees trying to maintain some type of control in the match uh the ref's not looking Damian Priest hits Cody Rhodes with a low blow outside the ring clears off the announce table um, well, he had already cleared out the announce table early on, but the announce table is cleared off and you already know what's about to happen. He lifts Cody up and he throws him through the announce table. Pretty much he's he's out the match at that point. So it's up to Jay and Jay kudos to him. He, he definitely was holding his own. He gave Finn Balor and Damian Priest two spears of his own. And as he's about to go to the top rope to take care of it to hit the splash i believe it was going to be on finn balor all of a sudden jimmy comes out of nowhere and super kicks him in the face pushes him back into the ring and then of course finn balor goes up to the top hits the coup de gras for the one the two the three as jimmy's smirking in the crowd area People are booing like crazy. Jimmy, you scumbag. You, you're just despicable. You screw over your brother once again. Once again. What's your excuse going to be now? I want you to be Roman again. Can't use that excuse. But this was a very interesting move. Now, I did think at some point they were going to have Jimmy and Jay interact with each other in a sense of I always, well, not. I wouldn't say I recently felt that at, they separated them for a reason. He's on Raw. Jay's on Raw. Jimmy's on SmackDown. And then at some point, maybe, you know, during the Royal Rumble, Jimmy would be the reason why Jay doesn't potentially main event a WrestleMania and he screws him out in a Royal Rumble or something like that. But it seems like they're starting this story a little bit sooner. So the question is, what's going to happen? Is this going to kind of culminate at War Games? I don't know. It's 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 gonna be very interesting to see how things play out. And was this all on Jimmy? Did Jimmy come up with this plan to do this, or was this does this have something to do with maybe Roman Reigns giving the order? Did Roman Reigns give this order to do this, or maybe just maybe is that did did Rhea have something to do with this? Because early in the show. Early in the show, there was a, a mention where uh, the Judgment Day was backstage and Rhea wasn't there. And then Rhea came into the shot and Damian Priest like, where you been? Like, you've been you've been talking on the phone lately. Like, like what's been going on? And Rhea's like, yo, I've just been handling business. Maybe 
Maybe it wasn't Roman that called the shot. Maybe it was Rhea. Maybe it was Rhea that maybe said something like, hey, this could be an opening to kind of stick it to your brother. Some type of temporary alliance. So that could be something. She says she was on, uh, Damian Priest mentioned she had been on the phone lately and busy. Some people can, you know, think that maybe she was talking to Drew McIntyre, but she wouldn't have to be on the phone to do that because Drew McIntyre is there. So what's what's actually going on here? So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe uh, he was uh, in talks with Rhea Ripley and, you know, basically they came up with a plan to, you know, kind of screw Jay and Cody out of the title and i think that could have possibly been what happened so we'll see how things play out but overall even though once again when you really think about it this makes absolute no sense considering the jimmy we had just a couple months ago to the jimmy we have now this whole transition but i'm here for it if it leads to a jimmy versus j match i'm there for it they're make they are making it very uh very easy to hate Jimmy Uso, man. So I, I'm I'm very interested to see how this is gonna play out. So comment down below. Let me know who do y'all feel like gave the order? Do you feel like Roman gave the order for Jimmy to do this? Do you feel like Rhea asked Jimmy to do this or gave the order for Jimmy to do this? Or do you feel like Jimmy went into business of his own? let me know down below but uh, i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still here on the speed of youtube wrestling shepherd world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace